Hello everyone, this is Will Mitchell from Startup Bros and E-Commerce Empire. Just wanted to make this quick video to show you how you can create a new Alibaba account. If you're going to be sourcing products from overseas, you're probably going to use Alibaba and you're definitely going to need an Alibaba account to do that. So this video will walk you through the whole process of getting set up and ready to source products using Alibaba. Now the first thing we want to do is obviously go to the Alibaba website. So you can get there either by going to Alibaba.com or for whatever reason if you can't find it, just Google Alibaba and Alibaba.com will come up. Once you're on that website, go ahead and click join free right here at the top left and, uh, and just that's going to take you through and help you to create a new Alibaba account. Now the first thing it asks you for is an email address. Guys, I would really recommend creating a new email address from scratch and using that email for Alibaba and supplier communications. You definitely don't want to use an email address that you use often because this email address is going to get spammed to hell, um, so to put it bluntly. Um, so I would head over to Gmail and just create a new account really quickly. Again, people really overthink this step of the process. Guys, don't worry about what your email address is. I'm just going to make mine willmitchell.imports at gmail.com. Once again, uh, your supplier is not going to care what your email address is. So just go ahead and use any email address. But you do want to use a separate one for the supplier communications. Um, so go ahead and you know finish filling out this form agree to the terms and services and go ahead and set up that account uh, so I'm gonna do the verification code here really quick and then I will be set up and ready to use my new Gmail account cool so I have my verification code I'm gonna go ahead and put that in and our Gmail account should be good to go at this point so now we have our new Gmail account and I'm gonna open up my new Alibaba account with that email address that I just created uh, obviously put in whatever uh, verification code you get and make sure you check the box to agree to Alibaba's terms and services and then go ahead and click next now it's gonna send us a confirmation email so let's go ahead over to that new email address we just created and here it is already our verification email from Alibaba so I'm gonna go ahead and complete uh, you know click that click that button to verify my email and then it's going to come up with uh, this page where I can continue making my new account so type in your username, your password, obviously, you know, where you're from, where your company's based. Also, you know, uh, identify if you're a supplier or a buyer um, or both. Most people are going to put buyer, right? Because most people are going to be looking for suppliers, sourcing products from overseas. So most of us are going to go ahead and click buyer. Now for your full name, obviously just put, you know, what, whatever your name is. And for the company name here, a lot of people get really tripped up at this point right here. Guys, you can literally type in whatever you want here, and I promise you no one's going to check it. No one's going to care. Um, so I would just put in, you know, really whatever you want. You could put LLC on the end of it as you want. Um, you're pretty much just making this up, though, if you don't have an actual company name already. Um, so I'm just going to put Mitchell Importing LLC. Um, and then obviously I'm also going to put my phone number in here. Um, very smart also to use a Google Voice number or some you know Grasshopper, any type of third-party phone service. Uh, because just like you don't want to give away your email address, it's best not to give away your phone number either. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put in my phone number and then just confirm it. And guys, we are all set at that point. Um, Alibaba is going to go off and create our account, and we now have an Alibaba account. If we go back to the home page, we are logged into our own buyer's account. So guys, that's how you get set up to start selling on Alibaba. So get out there and get it done.